Hey folks, Dennis Price here in Mid-State RV Center in beautiful Byron, Georgia. I want to take a couple of minutes of your time and show you the last 2010 Coachman Northridge 320 RLQ quad slide fifth wheel we have left. Last one. This is a 37 feet quadruple slide aluminum frame construction fifth wheel loaded to the gills. We take a look up front here at this nice one piece fiberglass cap. Nice look to it. Scoot down to the side here. You see the slide out start. You got three slides on this side right here. Take a look right here. You got your outside storage. This is that basement storage. Pass through goes all the way through. You see over there to the left, you've got a nice battery disconnect. So when you're not camping anymore, take it home, turn that off, make sure everything's off, make sure you don't run any of the batteries down. Um, right in there, you'll see your water panel. There's your water filter, outside shower, your water hoses. Everything is up inside. There's your pools for your black and your gray and your low point drains all inside here to close up. Hose goes down through there. You don't have hoses coming out the side. You don't have to reach underneath here to, to grab your pull handles. It's nice when it gets cold. Down here on the side, you'll see you got a 10 gallon gas and electric hot water heater. And this is a 50 amp service, not a 30. So it can handle two air conditioners, which it does. It actually has two air conditioners on it. Your refrigerator, there's your vent for your oven. Antenna for your radio. Back here to the back, you'll see you got rear power stabilizing jacks on it, both of them, and your front landing gear. They're also power as well, so no cranking. A ladder out back. Some of our competition, you don't see ladders on the back of them. Um, some of them actually have stickers up top that say, you know, warning, caution, you know, don't put too many people up here. You, you need to get up top on your camper at least once uh, every six months just to make sure everything's okay kind of walk around check around all the seals and everything make sure nothing's leaking going down the front here there's your fourth slide you see those windows are nice and black and tinted out keeps a little bit cooler inside and up top there you'll see the power awning i was talking about here's the button you just push it i'll show you that when we go inside uh, here's the other door that pass through storage nice big door opens up real heavy door too all right, folks, now we're on the inside of this uh, 2010 Northridge 320 RLQ. Uh, the first thing you'll notice right here is the big super slide. Uh, table and chairs, not the booth I net, but it does have the table and chairs. There is a nice extension on it, so you can kind of move these out. And you notice right here, you got a nice flush floor slide, not a big hump. This is a high-to-bed sleeper sofa with a built-in air mattress. And there's a nice little control right there where you uh, inflate it and deflate it. There's a plug-in back here. You take a look around and see this beautiful woodwork here. Nice residential lighting. Uh, beautiful cabinets with the etched glass. Not a bunch of plastic pancake lights as they call them. Um, you got the day and night shades which everyone loves. Um, wrap around all the cabinets all the way around. They take advantage of every little bit of storage room that you can have I'm sorry let me say that again every place where you could have storage they've got a cabinet there they don't leave anything out um, big bay window here two windows on the side big one in the back uh, that is a, a usable window you can actually open and close it day night shades these great rocker recliners wall huggers as they call them uh, take a look over here you've got a nice entertainment center area fireplace flat screen television on a swing arm place for your computer right there more storage up top uh, the fireplace believe it or not it'll put out a little bit of heat it's a little electric blower uh, but you gotta remember you're only heating 37 feet so it's kinda like a plug-in heater you're at a campsite you're paying for electricity anyway so you use that instead of having to use your LP walking through here to the kitchen area you'll notice this beautiful bow floor coming up to the cabinets 
and then the Corian countertops that wrap all the way around. Double bolt stainless steel sink. Gooseneck faucet. Uh, right here to the back, you see you've got your standard three burner stove top, oversized oven, uh, domestic microwave oven, more counter space here to the side, more pantry space, tons of drawers, tons of cabinets, uh, Dometic double door refrigerator freezer, which is adjustable. Coat closet here, fuses and breakers, and then up here you've got all your controls for your gas and your electric hot water heater, your slide out control. There's one button because it's a hydraulic slide. One button controls all the slides. Um, there's your power awning, and there are your lights. And come on up here to the bathroom area, and you'll kind of see how it's kind of like a side aisle. So as you're walking up, you can look over here to the left, and you've got this great little linen closet here, right there in the hallway. Over here to the side, nice little window, gives a little residential feel. And then I'll let y'all come on through and I'll let Rex show you the bathroom there. All right, now we're here in the bathroom area. You'll see you've got a nice corner shower here. Nice large porcelain toilet with a foot flush skylight, nice sink vanity with a medicine cabinet. But you'll notice up top there you'll see a air vent and then by the toilet you'll see a heat vent. Believe it or not a lot of them only have one of them. Either they get real cold or get real warm. Come over here to the bedroom area. This is that second AC that I talked about when we were outside so you do have two airs. This one runs independent for just this bedroom. These vents right here actually feed off of the one up front. So if you like it really, really cold, there's that second air. Um, bedroom area here, you've got a nice chest of drawers, uh, flats panel, Jensen television. Over here, nice big closet. Put lots of stuff in there. You can also take those shelves out and put you a washer and dryer in there. The convection style, the one piece. More closet, nice and deep. Place in the back to put your shoes. More storage up here. Real nice residential feel to this. A headboard, two windows on the side. Um, just a great camper. Uh, this Northridge 2010 320 RLQ. Uh, it's something you really have to come out to see to appreciate. Uh, the 320 RLQ is actually a 37 footer. It's just a perfect example of how you can't go by the model numbers you know, to determine the length of it. So um, come on out and take a look at this one. Uh, four slide outs. Uh, it doesn't weigh a million pounds. It's something you could pull with a three quarter ton pickup truck, short bed. Uh, I'd love to show you this in person. Uh, again, I'm Dennis Price, Mid-State RV Center. Uh, come on out and see me and let's see if we can uh, take you camping. Thanks.